Get it while it's hot. The dude mung is 3,000. No monkey. Did you do this? Hey, what up? It's your boy Duke Mungus. Man, I am excited today. Uh, today, y'all already know this setup. That means I want to have a sit down talk. Uh, we're taking a little break from Miami. I still have at least uh, probably two or three videos left from Miami, but something happened while I was in Miami and I just want to uh, share it with you guys. So um, I actually received my first YouTube check. No, so I'm not going to talk about that this episode. But the next episode uh, that I have a sit down talk, I'll be talking about my first YouTube check. But what I want to talk about today is just uh, kind of some expectations. Uh, and I just want to have a real sit down talk about my experience on YouTube for a year and what you can or what you should expect. Now, what my experience won't be everyone's experience. And again, my experience, y'all know what I always say, it's not vibrant. You know what I mean? It's just legit my experience so i took down some bullet points to make sure i don't get distracted but y'all know how your boy gets so we'll see got my little setup right here got the dude muggies lap tippy the tap right here but yeah i just want to jump on this subject and i just want to start you know i'm gonna go and start with this because i don't want to end with this because i want because i want to end on a positive note uh trolls man trolls are somebody that just always got something to say always something negative to say just if you went left, oh man, you should have went right. If you went right, oh man, you should have went left. It, it, dude, it's like it, it, people, uh, you know, y'all know me. I get easily excited about being on the bike riding this shot. And somebody be like, oh man, you're yelling too much. Dude, it's, it's, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Bro, do you. YouTube is called YouTube. If you don't like what I'm putting out, make your own YouTube about stuff you want to put out. You know what I mean? Like, so, dude, don't worry about trolls. And also, something when I'm talking about, um, and keep this lit but when i'm talking about trolls man also man like there is generally there are so many uh there is so much support that you shouldn't worry about the negative and uh the thumbs down like i have a video here from obama meet and i'll put a screenshot up i have 200 likes but then i have four dislikes thumbs down there now what sense does it make for me to put all this energy and try to explain and convert the people that gave me the thumbs down. There's 200 people that say, yo, Mungus, good stuff. Let me focus on that 200. If four want a thumbs down, yo, that's cool. That's your opinion. So I just know I need to direct my energy over here. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing wrong with cr constructive criticism, but sometimes people just, they do too much. They just, they just, like I said, they just saying something to say something. And that's dude, that's what I define, you know, as a troll, man. Um, I mean, I'm a part of a, a lot of Ducati groups or whatever. And something that I hear, and it's not all people in the Ducati group. Let me just make this clear. Most people I come across are legit, awesome, and genuine mungus. Do what you do. I have an understanding. Yo, everyone ain't gonna like what you do. That's cool. But the troll part of it, they just always got something to say. Always got something to say. No way you're 1199. You know what? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Just because your 1199 didn't do it, don't mean that my 1199 couldn't do it. Don't mean that shot couldn't do it. Did you hear the voice go up high? That means it just got real. So, bro, look, don't worry about that, yo. There's always going to be someone like that. And I didn't know that there was going to be people like that. But you know what? I'm built a little different, so it really didn't bother me that much. But there's always, there's always a troll somewhere. You go left, you should have went right. Dude, you went right, you should have went left. Dude, shut up. Sh shut up. You know what I'm saying? Shut up. <laughs> Yo, just continue to do you and just know you're going to have some people that don't rock with you, man. And dude, it is fine. You're going to have some people that just have something to say. Yo, that's fine. That That's cool. It's their prerogative. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got to understand, you putting something out on the internet, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, dude, it's, you you kind of open yourself up for this stuff. But it's, it's okay. Like I said, don't worry about them four dislikes. Don't worry about them couple of trolls. Oh, you always got something to say. What about the people that's like, yo, I, I'm rocking with you. I like what you did. So, you know what? Just let that go. And honestly, uh, I didn't think I would actually have to do this, but I actually had to block a few people. Excuse me. I actually had to block a few people from my channel, and I had no idea. And, like, I literally can't lie. Before I blocked them, I was like, yo, what's going on? Why, you know, trying to satisfy them. What's going on? What's up? I blocked them. Dude, chilling. I'm, I'm back on my normal. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm good to go. So, man, look, don't worry about the trolls. Don't worry about the negative. I got some great advice from um, 
650E when we had a talk. I couldn't put the whole thing on camera, but he, he told me, he was like, yo, Mungus, let that stuff go. Don't worry about that. And that's some solid advice. He gave me that advice. My cousin Hitman gave me that advice. I actually got that advice from a few uh, YouTubers, and I'm just like, yo, you know what? Like, I appreciate that. You know, people, veterans that's been in the game for a while, help the younger ones like me that's coming up. It's like, yo, you know, kind of avoid this. You can kind of go this way, but, you know, kind of do your own thing. But, you know, so I, I appreciate that advice. So I just want to share that with you guys. For the trolls and the negative comments and the dislikes, don't worry about that because the majority of the time, honestly, you have more support than you have non-support. So the trolls and dislikes, don't worry about it. You go hear me repeat that a lot because that is something huge. Uh, trolls, if you take it too personal, um, they can discourage you. Dislikes can discourage you. Don't let that joint discourage you. Do you. Don't worry about that negative. Focus on the people, you know, that's positive. Because a lot of times we have a tendency, like say you get a negative comment. You have, you know, you know, you kind of boil up. And you're just like, oh, I'm going to respond to that. No, dude, no. You got one negative comment, but you got 15 people that just like, yo, Mungus, love the video. Take that ball up and give it, give that energy to the people that's supporting you. Don't, don't worry about that stuff, dude. It, it's, it's okay. Trust me. You're on the internet. Somebody always has something to say. Don't even worry about it. All right, so I'm gonna get off of that and we gonna move to the next one, man. This is something else I wanted to. Um, this is something else I wanted to talk about. Um, I know, um, and I'm gonna just call this like, stay true to yourself and what you want for your channel. Um, I know there's a YouTube algorithm. I'm doing these air quotes for my wife. I love when my wife do these air quotes. Love you, wifey. But there's a YouTube algorithm everyone tries to crack. And I, I understand if you're doing YouTube and you're trying to get monetized and you're trying to make a living off of it or whatever, yo, you know what? You probably want to crack the algorithm. But don't be so focused on cracking this algorithm that you lose who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you do, you know, I don't know, if you do dog content, but you see that cat, cat content is jumping, if you seriously passionate about dogs, dude, do the dogs. I mean, find a way to mix it or something, but do what you're passionate about. Don't twist and manipulate your passion to fit this algorithm, because I think that's where a lot of people lose, you know, lose that genuine and that passion and that feeling. But, you know, like I said, I don't, I'm just a year in, so this is just me. I just want to stay true to Duke Mungus. I love riding motorcycles. That shot is my boy. But I don't only like riding that shot. Y'all seen I've done reviews. I like other bikes. You know what I mean? I, I, I love bikes. I don't care what it is. If it has two wheels, your boy is all the way about it. You know what I'm saying? So stay true to who you are. Don't have to be like something I recently got into was the road racing scene. I love road racing. It's fun. But that's not all that I'm about, you know what I mean? I love mountain riding, I love just cruising, you know what I'm saying? Y'all seen the Miami video? I do, I just like having fun on the bike, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if possible, I don't, I wouldn't say I have official mentors, but there are people that have befriended me and that I have befriended that have been in YouTube for a while. I have a guy, um, Kicking it with Q. He's been, I don't know how long he's been doing it. I just know he has a following. He has a huge following. And I was like, yo, I'll put his information up. Uh, me and him started talking. And uh, dude, he was just, he was literally legit spitting knowledge. And I was like, yo, hey, how does this work? How does that work? How does this work? And this man is freely giving knowledge. Like, I wouldn't officially call anyone a mentor, but if you have someone that's been in YouTube or been in the game for a while, talk to them, get some advice, you know, get some get some pros and cons, you know, some ups and downs, some left and right, you know, don't go into it just thinking one way, oh, it's going to be one way, because a lot of times we'll see a big YouTuber and we're just like, oh, this is the way it is, I started YouTube, everything's going to be great, uh, no, you got to work your way up to that point, you know what I'm saying, like, it ain't just, for, for the vast majority of people, it don't just happen overnight, it can, I'm not saying it can't. It can, but for the vast majority of people, it don't just, I feel like I'm spitting. I'm glad we on this social distance. But for the vast majority of people, it don't just happen overnight. Some people have been grinding, like uh, uh, someone I befriended, uh, a cool dude of mine, you know, one of my dudes, uh, 650E. He's been in the game, I think, over 10 years now. And so when he talks, dude, I'm listening. I'm not like trying to talk over him. Yeah, I know that. No, I am, I'm listening. When he's spitting knowledge, I'm like, listen, like, yo, Yo, that's what's up, that's that's solid advice. You know, man, someone else I've been talking to is Jack Be Quick, man. These people, these are good brothers, man, and they legit been spitting knowledge, and I'm not 
I promise you guys, I'm not trying to name drop. I'm legit trying to give an example of experience that I have of people that just legit drop some knowledge. But I've had off camera some excellent, very informative sit down talks with people, man. Um, EJR had a great talk with him last year. Dude, he, he don't probably don't even know I was listening as hard as I was listening. But dude, that's a conversation I legit took, a, took to heart. In Miami, I just talked with Mr. Five Up. Dude, like I, I take those conversations to heart. I take none of that lightly, like none of that lightly at all, dude. Like I, uh, I appreciate that, and I'm gonna stop calling names because I feel like I'm not. I promise you, I'm not name dropping. I'm legit just trying to give examples, but I'm gonna stop because look, there's gonna be a troll. Yo, oh, you just name dropping. You know what? Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> it's heck, but get someone. Talk to someone if you can that's been in the game for a while and just get some advice. Get some get some up and up positive advice, but don't let it be one sided. Let them tell you, you know, both sides of this thing, the ups and downs. You know what I'm saying? So that'll be good if you can talk to someone that's been in the game for a while. I believe that'll help you out, you know, starting off as a new YouTuber. I'm personally still a new YouTuber. I have 1600 followers. I'm dude. I'm brand new at the game. Spanking, spanking. Another thing I want to say, and it might hit on another point that I I hit on, which is stay true to yourself, but stay focused, man. A lot of times you can look at, um, and it happens on social media in general. You can look at this one, you can look at that one. It's like, oh man, they doing this. Oh man, they got this. Oh man, they doing this, and you get a little discouraged. Like, oh man, you know what I'm saying? You get the little front. Oh man, you, no, dude, don't worry about that. Stay focused on what you want to do. And you will get there eventually. But one thing you got to understand, these people have been in the game for a minute, most of them. And they've grinded. They've done the hard work. They've done the grunt work. They've been in the trenches. They've done this work. And this is their reward. Let them enjoy it and generally be happy for them. You know what I mean? Don't be, you know, envious or nothing. Like, dude, be, yo, you did this. You got this. Dude, kudos. Congratulations, bro. More success to you. Like, and mean it. Don't just say words, but like, mean it, you know what I mean? Like, so, yo, stay focused. It's a, it's a lot going on, it's a lot of shiny stuff. Stay focused. Also, something that I'm learning um, as I've been doing this a little bit over a year is uh, if you can, get yourself a plan, if you can. Um, you don't have to map out everything to where it's like computer generated. I'm going to jump on the bike and turn the key. No, don't, don't go that deep, but just get you a plan, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we just went to Miami. All I knew was we was going to Miami. I, I ain't know, <laughs> but we're going to Miami. All right, cool. Me, dead shot rocket. We're going to get down there and we go, uh, we're going to make it do what it do. We got down there. We knew there was going to be some, <laughs> going on so we <laughs> and then you know after that you know we made it do what it do you know what i'm saying so get you a plan together but don't that that robot that don't ro i mean but you know boy i can't robot that <laughs> don't do that get you a plan together get something out for the year and you can call them gold but it's a plan if you don't hit everything dude it's fine dude it, it's all good but at least you have a plan i would like to do this accomplish this do this do that do that and dude, that's good. Get you a plan together. That'll kind of help. Cause I've done some videos like just off the fly. And um, a lot of times they turn out great because I like just giving my raw reaction. But sometimes I've, I've y'all see, y <laughs> what y'all see, y'all see most of my successes. You know, I had a ton of fails where I'm just like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. And those have been times I didn't plan nothing. I was like, Mungus, bro, you got to you got chill, bro. You got you got to do better. Oh, something else. Um, and this might not necessarily with the mentor, but also if you can, everyone's not in this boat. Uh, but if you have a solid support team, someone you could talk to, vent to, you know, that'd be great. Like my wife, man. I God bless my wife, man, because I don't know how much. Uh, she's probably legit probably tired of hearing about YouTube because I'm just like, babe, what about this idea? Wait, but what about this idea? What about this idea? And then, you know, like my kids, they get involved. They're excited, man. I have outside of my YouTube support, my core support is my family, my wife and children, man. They really, they got my back. They give me time. They're legit upstairs giving daddy time, giving hubby time to do this video. And yo, I, I appreciate that. That to me says... I support you and what you want to do. I will give you this time to make some content. I I appreciate that. I cannot appreciate my family enough. Yo, I love y'all. 
something else, um, and it, I don't know if it's gonna bounce off another point that I said, make sure you keep your channel yours. Um, I got some great advice from my uh, big bro ham, QOQ Pro, Jerry Smith. He gave me some good advice. He told me, he was like, yo, you're gonna start this. He seen the vision. I, I, the, I told him, I was like, yo, I might you know, be doing whoop de whoop de whoop He was like, yo, I see it. He was like, I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna have you a squad. You're gonna have a team with you. This is when, I, before I even started, he was like, you're gonna have a team come around you. They gonna have ideas, you do this, you do that. He was like, that's cool. Enjoy your squad, enjoy your team. But he was like, make sure you keep it yours. And I was like, what does he mean by that? Dude, I have a group of guys, man, the Blast Boys. Um, dude, I, I love them, man. I love them. They, we are such like-minded gentlemen all together, bro. It is, sorry, I'm treating on the cough drop. We're such like-minded gentlemen, like all in a group, man. Dude, it just, when I tell you it blows without strain or none of that, dude, and it's, it's nothing against anybody else. It's nothing bad against nobody. It's just my guys, the people I call Blast Boys, man, shout out to y'all, man. Like, dude, I appreciate y'all, man. Like, legit, man. Legit. So I have a squad, but I just make sure I keep it focused on Duke Mungus, which this is the good thing about my squad, bro. We are so, like, in sync. We're so intact that whatever anyone wants to do is in the line, in the vein of Duke Mungus, bro. So it is, dude, it is is good. That's why I'm very protective over my Blast Boys, but yo, I, I appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all for this. Uh, something else. Um, if you're thinking about starting or if you just started, it's okay to be nervous. I know, like, I know when I started, bro, like, my first video, I'll see if I can put a clip up of my first video. Man, it, man, that wasn't even my words. Like, wifey had to, like, wifey had to gas me up because I was nervous. I was out here 45 minutes trying to film this little short intro and could not get it. Wifey had to gas me up. He was like, come on, man, you monkey. Wifey gassed me all the way up. And then I was finally able to get out and do it. But, man like it's it's okay to be nervous it'll eventually work itself out like i know something about me i hate hearing my voice like i'm just like ew no they don't sound like me that's not that's not me who is that talking like me no dude that's i i don't like my voice talking to you right now when i go back and edit this i'm gonna have this face like well, why do you sound like that bro i, I dude you, you gonna have to get over it it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay Nerves are okay. Nerves are actually a good thing. That means you're not coming in too cocky, not too conceited, you know, got some humbleness about you. Dude, it's okay. But I, I, I encourage you to keep going and it'll be okay. Now, something else my big brother said, my big bro ham, QOQ Pro, he was like consistency. He was like, just put it out there and forget about it. Cause you know, you put something out there and you're looking, looking, looking one view, hour later, two views, hour later, two views, hour later, two views. And you're just like, yo, what's going on? He was like, yo, don't do that. Put it up there, forget about it, walk away. And still to this day, even over a little bit over a year, I put it up and walk away. Like I can't just, nope, because I will sit there and be glued to the thing. Like, come on, come on, come on, dope. Set it and walk away. <laughs> Set it and forget it. So he told me about doing that and being consistent, consistency. Y'all know from Mungus, now I will vary every now and again, but every Saturday morning, you can expect there is a video, a new episode of Duke Mungus you can go watch. Sometimes, like with this Miami thing, I've been putting stuff out a little bit earlier. So I'll instead of Saturday, I'll drop it on Friday morning. But still, when you wake up on Saturday morning, there is a new episode from Duke Mungus. Saturday morning is my consistency. My followers, my dude and do that that follow me know. If nothing else, Saturday morning, there's gonna be a new video from Mungus. I think there's been one time I haven't been able to do a video and that's because my computer messed up or whatever. But outside of that, literally there's been a video every Saturday morning. And again, like I said, Miami, I've been doing it Friday and then I had a lot of content. So I actually dropped one on, on Tuesday. So it's been like, you've been getting multiple videos in a week, but if all this fails, the bare minimum, you're getting a video on Saturday morning. And people that can expect that from Mungus and I've actually, had people like, yo, Mungus, you know, what's going on? You know, when that, when that one video didn't come out, Mungus, everything okay? It's because they expected it. And that made me feel like, I'm like, yo, people actually expected this video. Yo, that was, that was, that was pretty dang up dope. <laughs> and the last point I want to leave you guys with um, is balance, man. Um, if you're single, it might be a little bit different, but I still believe there needs to be balance. So I'm married. I have a beautiful wife and three amazing children. Um, you got to have balance. I can't go and do everything. I can't go to every meet because, you know, I got I got a lovely family, not 
like it's a chore, but I got a lovely family to take care of. I got a lovely family I want to spend time with. As much as I love Deadshot and riding bikes, dude, it, man, I love my family. When we are out and we clicking on cylinders, all cylinders, bro, dude, you can't, bro, you can't tell us nothing. I'm a jokester. Like, my family knows. My oldest daughter knows. Dude, I hear, daddy, dude, I hear that all the time. I hear that all the time. It's because I'm always joking. I, I love my family, so you gotta find a balance in that. There will be times, yo, you know, this is going on, this is going on, this is going on, so it, it might escalate like this, but find a way to balance that thing back out. Like, I know I went to Miami, so it's busy, 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 busy. I've been back from Miami two, I think two weeks going on three. Guess what it's doing? I mean, ain't no guess what it's doing. Guess what it did? Boom. I haven't rode that shot since I've been back from Miami. I haven't been back from Miami. So I elevated the family time and I'm still like editing videos. So this is, it don't switch to this right here. You know what I mean? And that's, dude, that's, you have you have to find a balancing act because dude, you gotta have, you, you take care of home. You gotta take care of home. So just make sure you balance. Even if you're single, you don't wanna be so focused on YouTube and content. I mean, grind, don't get me wrong, grind it out. But don't be so focused that, you know, you kind of lose yourself and, you know, lose the fun and, you know, all that stuff about it, whatever you're trying to do. But, um, and let me see, I think that was it. Yeah, I'm going to make that it because I feel like I've been talking a long time. So, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and shut up. Uh, so, yeah, the next video, I will be talking about my first YouTube check. Uh, <laughs> bro, let me tell you, I was, I, see, I feel like I'm about to start talking about it now. I was completely shocked and blown away. Keep rocking with your boy. You know what it is. One shot, dead shot. Do mungus. No monkey. Blue chocolate. Thank you for watching, dudes. No monkey. No monkey. Thank you for watching, dudes. No monkey.